Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapring Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with another tool video. Uh, something not not the usual ratchet type video. This is something uh, kind of more, I don't know, kind of a novelty maybe. Uh, I don't know if that's putting it too lightly, but uh, uh, it's a nut driver. It's uh, actually a Husky. 15 15 and one nut screwdriver and i picked this up used they still sell this at uh at home depot the the going price for this at home depot right now is uh 15 dollars but i picked this up for i think a couple of dollars maybe like two dollars so uh yeah and before we jump into it if you find these videos at all helpful entertaining could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel i've been i've been running like a a little uh goal <laughs> that i want to reach 500 subscribers by around new year's uh so if you guys are inclined to subscribe please do so and that would really help me out okay uh Getting back to this uh, all-in-one nut screwdriver, it's a Husky tool. It's got the lifetime warranty on it. It's uh, I don't think I've ever seen one with so much uh, all-in-one as this. It's <coughs> it's got like these three interlocking pieces here, and on these pieces starting with the handle is a three-quarter nut driver so there we have three quarters and they kind of color coded his red and I think that's brown and they're laser etched so this is a 9 16 nut and this would be the 7 16 on this end and for the next size down is 5 16 with the yellow band and 3 eighths with the blue band those are the nuts sizes there and the nuts sizes for the smallest section is uh, 1 quarter and 3 16 and they're all six sided all the openings are six sided so So yeah, uh, and then on top of that, they also have the screwdriver bits, which fit inside, uh, these fit inside the sections. I guess this one fits, which one this one fits in, no, in here, in this one. And they fit in there, and they have the Phillips, and they have the slotted. I'm missing one, and this one's broken. There were four of them originally. With the, I guess uh, when you buy this brand new, there's four. I got like the two biggest sizes and the smaller size, and uh, the slotted broke on that one, and it's missing one section or one bit here. Since I got this used, uh, that's probably gone. You can see these, they they don't look like they're coated much with anything. It just looks like plain steel. You can see that's it's been uh, rusted there. And this is the biggest one. This is a P4 or number 4 for the Phillips. And the slotted is a 3 eighths. I don't know about you guys. Uh this a uh, number four phillips i hardly ever use a number four phillips it's pretty big you know for normal use i think out of this set what mostly gets used is the number one and probably the number two and here's the number three it's also big i don't think this gets used much either for i don't know for me i don't see I don't encounter screws or Phillips heads that are over like maybe two, maybe a three, but 
jumping into a four that's like a big screw <laughs> so here you go and this is a number three Phillips and a five sixteenths and this one is the I'm pretty sure it is the number one and it broke off there so I can't see what the slot it was for that one but yeah, uh, this all comes together in this handle. The handle's acetate. It's a big handle, so you can get a pretty good grip on this. It's it's bigger than most uh, screwdriver handles. If you were to compare this to a, a screwdriver handle, it would probably be like a big, a long, like 20-inch screwdriver with probably a number <laughs> a number four uh, Phillips on it would probably have a handle this this big. It's pretty big. And this all, like I said, this this goes, these bits go in here. Which one this one goes into? Hmm. Okay, this is the number. All right, there we go. This one goes into the three eighths, the big one. The three eighths, it goes into the three eighths section. But yeah, then these all go. Uh, I'm not sure how the bits all fit in here. Let me see. Okay, and they have these, um, the sections with the six points they have they're slotted on the side to accept these slots on the side of the section so you stick them in like that and this I'm not sure if this is all gonna fit in here and you put this one I guess that goes in there. I don't know. I don't think these these bits these bits go inside unless they go with the screwdriver. Yeah, it's not. Maybe it does. Maybe there is enough room in the handle there for those bits just to float around in there. So yeah, that's about it for this. Um, would I buy this for fifteen dollars at at Home Depot? Mm, probably not. It's uh, I could see this kind of being useful if you just want it like a multi all-in-one section uh, screwdriver and a driver type of uh, of tool. There's no the only section here that has um, that has uh, sides on it is this three quarters one. It does have where you can put a wrench on it and kind of torque it down to, you know, give it that extra that extra torque. But fifteen dollars, uh, I don't think me personally I would buy this, but uh, I don't think it's also like it's overpriced either so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence with this one like it it seems decent quality like it seems kind of useful and it saves space like if you're gonna use this in your car or something you can just throw it in in your tool bag of your car or or whatever toolbox if you have a toolbox in your car just throw it in there and you have all these um, all these driving options but I don't know just personally to me this seems a little bit gimmicky but uh, I guess in a pinch this can I guess this can come in handy so alright guys uh, that's my little review of this Husky 15 in 1 screw screwdriver and nut driver set alright till next time